All right, good afternoon, everybody. We appreciate you joining today's signing day press conference with head coach Brian Harson. Coach will make some opening remarks, and then we'll take your questions. As usual, please uh, indicate if you have a question in the comments section, and then when you're called upon, if you can please give coach your name and affiliation. Lastly, we'll have broadcast quality version of this available on Imogen later today. All right, coach, turn it over to you. All right, thank you. Well, good afternoon. Signing day, excited here. Um, good day today. And, you know, first of all, I want to start off and just thank our staff and all the people that have helped us uh, through this process with the transition to be where we are now and to communicate with these players and families and to help us uh, on a day like today. Uh, as far as the recruiting process, uh, just a few things uh, to take into consideration before we start talking about these guys. This is a big moment uh, for everybody, and certainly the university, all right, uh, our football program, and each one of these players and their families. You think about a decision uh, to make a commitment somewhere and to be a part of you know, whatever program you, they decide. And these guys that chose Auburn University, uh, they made that simply through uh, building the relationships with our coaches, uh, the connection that we have with them, and then you know, understanding there's a fit uh, for the culture and the type of people that we want to have in our program. This is a big decision. And you know, on a day like this, you know, all the conversations uh, with family members, the players themselves, coaches, uh, people in their lives, um, you know, it's been a process, and, and I'm proud of our guys. I'm proud of the guys that are here on campus. I'm proud of the guys that have signed earlier that will be here in the summer, and I'm proud of the guys that we just signed today. Uh, we signed six today. Um, there's still several spots left, so we're not done. Um, but overall in this class, we have six on offense. We have 11 players signed on defense uh, from the different states where we have players from. Four from Florida, three from Texas, three from Alabama, two from Georgia, two from North Carolina, one from Michigan, one from Mississippi, and one from Missouri. And in our process, some things that were important to us fit, number one, all right, talking to these guys and their families and uh, with our coaches, uh, fit was a major factor. Um, when we sat down and decided, all right, what is it that we're looking for in this next group of signees that we're going to bring in will fit. And the culture, uh, that's all part of it. You know, do these guys love football? High character guys, competitive guys, guys that want to come in here and work hard, guys that are winners. And so during the, the process here, we had those conversations to answer those questions and, and to figure those things out. And all these guys fit the bill. Uh, guys that we can develop, guys that can come in here that we know their best football is ahead of them, guys that want to develop, guys that we can coach, guys that are going to come in and do the work necessary to get themselves better each and every day. And that's in the classroom, that's in the weight room, that's in the film room. All right, that's each and every day handling their business. And we wanted guys that wanted to be at Auburn. And so through this process, talking to those guys and just getting that feel for who they are and where they wanted to be. Is this the right place? Is this the right fit? Are these the right people? And no doubt in my mind, we got the right ones. And so we're excited about today. The staff, uh, we've been upstairs. Uh, guys are uh, been passing the phone around, talking to these guys, uh, certainly moving on to you know finishing this class as well. And you know the, the energy in here has been very good. Just a few of these guys that we signed today, uh, starting with Caden Bridges. Uh, DB and uh, from Mississippi so you know a guy you watch him on film hard hitter plays hard physical um, a guy that's had some very good stats uh, but you see the potential in his development and, and get to know him a guy that handles his business very focused and determined um, great family great support system and we're excited about him coming in here all right and being in that defensive backfield for us Tavares Dawson wide receiver never wavered one time, even through the coaching change, and uh, high energy, fun to be around, or excuse me, fun to talk to, uh, great energy on the phone, Zooms, things like that, and, and a great player, great hands, great speed, uh, and a guy that uh, has just been a pleasure to be recruiting during this time, and I think has helped us. 
uh, a guy that loves Auburn, wants to be here, wants to be a part of this family. Jawan Gaston, just down the road there. Um, Jawan's a competitor and uh, did a great job his senior year, 96 tackles, five interceptions, uh, seven kick returns for touchdowns. So playmaker, football player, and uh, really enjoyed getting to know him, enjoyed getting to know his mom you know, through this process, and, and a guy that I know is going to come in here and compete and give everything he's got. Iku Leota, uh, D lineman transfer uh, from Northwestern and uh, North Carolina, uh, graduate transfer here, uh, but a guy that you know is all about the fit, the culture, the things that we talked about here, uh, his development and, and being a part of this program and wanting to be here. And he's obviously had experience uh, playing against Auburn, so it was good to get to know him and his family. And we're looking forward to him being a guy on the edge for us. Uh, that can provide that pass rush, but a, a very good player, developed, uh, will have his degree and has um, three years to come in here and be a part of this program. Offensive line, high school offensive lineman Colby Smith uh, from Rockingham County, North Carolina. Um, you know this guy's a this guy's a big human being and a great personality, a wonderful family. I wanted to be. Guy that uh, Coach Friend and I, as we watched, you know, is a guy that will continue to keep developing. His best football is ahead of him, and a guy that we really enjoyed through this process and was just straightforward, um, good to get to know, and certainly a guy that's going to come in here and, and help us, all right, in that offensive line room, and also a guy that we can develop that's young, all right, that will continue to grow through our program. Uh, Joko Willis uh, from uh, Troop County there in uh, Independence Community College, um, so originally from Georgia, uh, but linebacker, outside, inside linebacker, got a lot of range, uh, very speedy player on the field there, so he's got great quickness, um, uh, short quickness, and can run, and a guy that loves ball, and certainly fits what we're looking for, for that linebacker spot. And been great to get to know him uh, with our coaches, uh, so just uh, the conversations, his energy, enthusiasm, uh, desire to be here, once this opportunity came up, now there was no question this was the right fit for him. So those are the guys that, that we most recently have signed, guys that are here now, um, that are mid-year guys, Demetrius Davis, Kamal Haddon, Amari Harvey, uh, guys that are here now, um, Lee Hunter, Landon King, and Garner Langlow. And these guys are in the program and are doing the work are getting acclimated to the college lifestyle. Uh, it's been good to be around these guys, get to know them, and these guys can play. But they're putting in the work right now, they're developing, and you know, I think they're all excited about where we're going and their opportunity uh, in their development. Guys that will come in the summer here um, at the end of uh, May, A.D. Diamond, Ian Matthews, all right, Tobici will be here, Hal Presley, and Marquise Robinson. So those guys, all part of the signing class and will be here in the summer. And as we finish up uh, with several spots that we still need to fill, uh, we'll put together this entire class and hopefully have all that done by the summer. So we have everybody here and everybody preparing uh, through the summer and getting ready for August and the season. Like I said, we still have several spots to fill. Recruiting never ends, and you know, the opportunities for guys to be a part of this program are still available. And as a coaching staff, we're going to continue uh, with our process of, of finding the right fit, guys that are, want to be a part of this culture, fit this culture, and guys that we can develop. So um, very good day for us, and I'm very proud of our staff for, for putting in the work to get to where we are right now, and I'm looking forward to getting these guys on campus, uh, the new ones that we signed, and the rest of these guys that aren't here yet, start working with them and begin their development in our program and towards the things that we want to achieve and the goals we have set for ourselves. So with that, open up for questions. Thank you, Coach. Our first question is from Mark Murphy. Yeah, Coach, uh, this is Mark Murphy from inside the Auburn Tigers. Can you talk about the challenge of roster management here in the short term you got guys coming and going and then you're hiring a staff and then you got to figure out who you need for 2021 yeah it's all those things right it's all those things um every single day 
and you're looking at your current roster. Uh, we've had guys that were a part of this team that are no longer a part of this team. You got guys from this COVID year uh, that are back and forth and, and making decisions to come back. Uh, you're looking at your future roster. All right, what are your needs? All right, as you evaluate your team you're, and then the staff that's going to come in here and be a part of your program. So it's all those things, but what I would say is as you put together the staff, all every one of those staff members begins to help you as a head coach and begins to start looking at the same things you're looking at. And at the end of the day, it all comes back to people. Let's get the right people here. Let's make sure we have the right people in our program. Let's get the right people here, all right, and let's get everybody working towards that uh, as we moved into this second signing period. And uh, that never ends. That, that's an ongoing process that we have every single day. Uh, but as we get more of the right people in our program, uh, the better it becomes. And, and the better you know, we get a chance to, to start emphasizing the culture and things that we want to get done as we get people in this program. So uh, I've been proud of our players. They've been working hard, uh, proud of our coaches as we put together the staff. And then excited about this new group of guys that we signed and, and this entire class that will be a part of uh, our program when we, when we get everybody here in the summer. And, um, but it's, uh, it comes back to people, and I think the, the folks here have done a really good job of making sure that, that we're getting the right, the right people here in this program and a part of this team. Next is Bill Cameron. Coach, and uh, talking about the, uh, the makeup, makeup of this, of team, this team coming up, coming up. Uh, with workouts going on, uh, you were talking about COVID and players who won't be here. We know a few of the uh, seniors, upperclassmen, who've decided to come back um, in uh, Chandler Wooten and Trayvon Leonard, TD Moultrie. Any of the other seniors or, or uh, draft-eligible players that have indicated to you that they're coming back? Um, no, not the ones that you didn't, you know, other than what you mentioned there with the guys. And um, those are the ones that have, have chosen with the, the opting and opting in, opting out that have come back to be a part of this. Uh, and, and that's where we're at right now. So there hasn't been any other changes that way. Uh, I don't forecast there will be. Uh, the team we have right now and the guys that are here are putting in the work. Uh, that's where we're building this foundation with these um, incoming freshmen that signed and we're mid-year guys with the team that's coming back. That's just been our focus right now on, on the guys we have here. Uh, obviously the ones that we signed today and the ones that will come in the summer. And we get everybody here. That'll be that'll be our team. Some of the still new faces that we have an opportunity to bring in. Like I said, we're not done. Uh, there's still uh, several spots that we need to fill, and, and we'll do that throughout the spring and, and make sure that we got the right people in here. But as far as what you just mentioned, uh, guys in and out, that's who we have here right now.